Morning legends, it's Skulls here and it is game day. I've just finished uh, doing a meditation and a visualization exercise which really gets me in the right mindset and makes me uh, visualize what I want to achieve and, and how I want to play today. Got my green juice, Becca makes me a juice every morning which I'm very thankful for and really, uh, really appreciate from her. Now it's time for brekkie. So really looking forward to today's game. We're playing at Richardson Park, which is just up the road from my house. Really, uh, really good wicket usually. However, it's been raining for the last few days, and I've, I've every time I've driven past there, the covers have been on. So who knows what the wicket will be like? I'm skipper today, as Luke, our um, normal skipper, is away at a wedding. So it's something I enjoy. I've been captain. I was captain for the past three seasons. I'm vice captain this year. So, and I'm captain in the 2020s. Absolutely. Love captaining and leading the boys out, um, so hopefully I can lead by example today, get a few runs or wickets or whatever we're doing, so really looking forward to getting out there. Now that we're into the two day games, we don't have to um, start until 11.40, uh, the one day game start at 10.30, so we're, uh, we don't have to be there for an, an, at least an hour later. Um, which is good, gives us a bit more time in the morning to just chill out and not rush off, but it also means um, a bit more time to think. I usually am spending this time going through the opposition and, and their bowlers just in my mind. I know them all quite well, so I know how they're gonna bowl and also I wanna know how they're gonna try and get me out. And I'm sort of thinking through my plan of how I'm gonna play them, each individual bowler, so that when I get out there, I've got a bit of a clear understanding of what they're trying to do and what I'm, how I'm gonna play against them. So really good little mental skill to use on game day is try and work out how you think they're going to get you out whether it's a left arm bowler swings it back in that's what I've got today against so I'm going to be for him I'm going to be really focusing on getting my head going straight down or even to mid on not letting myself fall over because that's where my danger to him is LBW or bold swinging it back in so I really want to be looking to hit through mid on I don't want to be looking to go too square if I'm looking to go through mid on then as it swings, I'll just go with it. So that's just one example of what I'm going through in my mind to be ready for today's game. Eggs for brekkie again this morning. I'm having three eggs um, with a few vegetables and a few other things. I've got the music playing in the background. Love having tunes on in the morning. Really fires me up, but also relaxes me and just gets me in a good space before I go to cricket. Just makes me happy. And I'm sure everyone has their little triggers. And I, I know a lot of people like music, but just got a few tunes happening in the background. absolute tune this. Hanging the washing out isn't part of my normal morning routine but I've got plenty of time this morning and got to help Mrs S around the house. She does most of the work around the house and keeps it maintained so I've got to pull my finger out every now and again. Job done. Guys this may be the best piece of advice I ever give you. Happy wife, happy life. Just about to head off to the game, but uh, though it's game day, I still have to keep the business running. I wanted to get a social media post ready for today, so I decided to do something a little light-hearted and put together a few uh, of our bloopers that we do. So I've just been editing the video here. It's uh, it's very funny. It's uh, it's of me and Jamesy, and also me and Scotty when we we recorded some videos and we could we had the giggles and couldn't stop laughing. So a bit of humour for a Saturday, got it done, and now about to head off and and get focused for the game. Feeling in a really good mood after watching that. It's really made me laugh and and feel good. So I'm really pumped to get to cricket now. On the way out to the middle to see the pitch for the first time. Captain today, so hopefully I'll win the toss. It's been undercover. It's a bit overcast again. Hopefully we'll uh, see what the wicket's like over here. The wicket looks good. It's uh, been under covers a lot, but apparently had it ready early in the week. Looks really good. Even coverage of grass. Might do a, a bit early with the new ball. A bit of green grass on there. Lost the toss and we're, bat we're batting first, which is a good result. We were going to bat first anyway. Handy. Wicket looks alright, it's hard underneath, might do a bit with the new ball, but we're just backing us to get through that and then hopefully we'll be alright a bit later on. Bit done. 10 15 minutes to be start. Getting ready, it's really good. First over of the morning. Down leg. Just waiting to bat. Got TK behind me, Portsy here in next. Staying 
nice and relaxed. Looking forward to getting out there when I get my chance. G'day legends, Tom here from Family Food Fights, stepping in for Tom from Cricket Mentoring. Skulls has just gone out into the middle, we've been sent in today. It's a bit of a green seamer, um, we're one for one here at South Perth, so Skulls is going to have to, one for two now, thanks Fraze. Um, we're going to have to dig deep here. Skulls has just pushed and um, got off the mark there with a nice little single to point, so I'll keep you updated during the day. Just got out for eight, uh, run out, backing up at the bowler's end, Port's played a brilliant straight drive, flicked off the bowler's hand and I was backing up looking for a single and I was about a foot out of my crease. Very, very frustrating. A very unlucky way to get out. I uh, was feeling okay. Not amazing, but I was up for the battle. We lost two early wickets. Um, wicket was doing a fair bit. Seeming around. We were put in, as I've already said. Seeming around and I played and missed a few times. Had a few OB shouts, but I was fighting through. Was starting to feel okay. Got a, a decent drive away down the ground and was up for the contest, but not to be today. These things happen. Very unlucky. Just got to deal with it. Move on. And uh, hope that the boys can get it the job done now. There's a big appeal out there. Given not out, good. We're now three for about 20. Wiley was dropped on the boundary on zero, playing a pull shot. So hopefully he can cash in and make it count. I'll check in with you later. Fraser, 540 at the moment. Got to fight hard here, we've got Bogsy and Fraser in. It's up to come and then the bowlers, so need to get a score. Talking a bit. Any, anything over 100 and we can defend for sure. We can still win enough. Yes, V. Andy, that, get on. Bogsy off the mark with a little boundary. Bad V. Ooh, maybe one. Bevel Aqua, WA squad member to Fraser Hay. Too high. Way too high. Shot. Oh boy. Shot Adam, fast there, don't bowl there to Bogey. Played Adam, that shape. G'day vlog, just got home from the game. Gonna get changed, then head out to the pub for dinner and a beer with the boys and just have a bit of a review and relax, try and Chat a little bit of cricket, but also just try and enjoy each other's company. It's all about uh, building culture and a bond between us as teammates, which really helps um, on the field. Uh, so tough day today for us. We were sent in, as I've already said, and we ended up being rolled for 95, which was a um, decent effort to get there in the end. I think we're seven for 60 at one stage, but uh, one of our bowlers who can whack him batted really well towards the end. I think he top scored with... The uh, 30 odd, so got us a defendable total. We have them four for 70, and we came off early for bad light. So it's game on, absolutely game on. As captain, my message at the end of the day was that every single one of us has to believe that we can still win. We've obviously got a week between uh, this Saturday that we've just had today and next Saturday, so we've all got to believe in that time that we can win, and that's the number one thing. If we rock up next week and we don't believe we win, can win, then we won't put everything into it and we'll, we will lose the game. So we've got 25 runs or so to defend. We've got to get six wickets. They've got a young uh, middle order coming in next. So it's game on. The ball's doing a bit. Obviously, the wicket will probably be a bit flatter next week, but hopefully we can take those six wickets and then we can have another hit. Righto, guys, I'm off now. Um, 2020 tomorrow and hopefully we get another win on the board and I get a few runs, but... See how we go. So I will see you guys soon. Hope you've enjoyed today's insight into Melbourne Cricket Club and my own preparation and my game. Cheers, legends. At the pub, just having dinner with the boys. Stuff, Ricey, Teeks. Hey guys, Tom here from Port. Family Food Fight. Nothing better than a meal. And Treno, just having, having a, a feed after a, a tough but good day at cricket. Now we're just enjoying each other's company.